What's going on, people? This is Jay Ghost, and this is me talking about one other aspect of the gaming industry that I think a lot of people don't really understand. And if you've actually taken the time to really think about it, it's a difficult thing to do because what you're actually asking for is a little bit different than what you kind of come out to expect. And what I'm going to sit here and talk about today is voting with your wallet. Which a lot of people seem to think that if you're going to vote with your wallet, you're not going to pay for anything that comes out of the industry. And you don't see the ramifications of bad business practices that are being done, either if it's Activision, EA, or anything else. The thing is, voting with your wallet is gamers sitting here and choosing not to play the games of a certain publisher Most, more than likely it's going to affect the developers in some way shape or form but it does have the effect of creating an economic boycott now personally I don't pay for EA games I don't pay for Activision games I don't pay for most triple A industry games because to me and in my opinion they're stagnant they're stale I'll probably pick them up second or third hand or I'll pick them on a vast majorly discounted way so that EA doesn't get most of the money they get say five bucks after they've already gotten the most work that they can get when a game is brand new I also don't pay for a lot of games brand new if I'm gonna sit here and invest my money in any way shape or form I usually do that into smaller companies where I'll sit here and pay more for what they're they're doing but I come to expect a certain quality which I haven't seen since the 90s in most triple-a games what am I doing I am creating a flow for I am voting with my wallet as other people have done but I make it flow to smaller game companies instead of larger game companies for the most part most large business game companies already have a lot of advantages over the smaller companies they have the advantage of branding they have the advantage of vast markets which they've already exploited in some way shape or form and when I say exploited I usually mean they can take advantage of a large advertising of basically effect where they can sit here and advertise all over Steam at great discounts far more than smaller companies usually can. So when you're talking about some of the biggest video games out there, you have vast amounts of people that have already invested in older games and older libraries of games from EA, Capcom, Activision, etc., etc., they can sit here and advertise these games on Twitch. They can advertise these games on YouTube. They can sit here and do these types of things. Smaller companies have to rely on word of mouth and the effects of gamers sit here and act actively investing in their games. This causes what you see in the gaming industry most of the time where word of mouth passes along far faster than an advertising dollar ever can. They have to be innovative. Those smaller companies have to be innovative. This is what I vote with my wallet. Smaller games where I can take a lot more risk with a lot less money than a large a large company that doesn't take as much risk. This is the type of thing that people don't really understand when they're talking about voting with your wallet. In economic terms, that's called a strike. And for the most part, it doesn't necessarily work out that way because the unfortunately, how the gaming industry is structured, it helps out the big six that have taken over the gaming industry. Because if you're a big publisher in any way, shape, or form, you have so many significant advantages. You have state um, funding. If you go to a certain um, uh, part of the state, you have so many different ways that you can basically take advantage of your your employees with like a perpetual crunch cycle 
you have a lot of things that people don't really sit here and fight against because they think that every publisher, for some weird reason, is its own personal entity, as if they can sit here and do no harm or something like that, instead of looking at the evil that they do and seeing that they bankroll off of bullshit for the most part. These are the types of things I'll put in the underbar. But the main point is, if you're going to vote with your wallet, you have to do this in a very, very coordinated way. You want to sit here and cost these big publishers money in the first 60 days of a game. If you're going to buy a game brand new, you have to be really, really, really invested in that game. And some people, unfortunately, are always going to be invested and not sit here and see the news holistically of any company. Like, there are people that I listen to, that I read, that love EA games, love the Dragon Age series, love, like, all the things made by Bioware, even though the, there's a lot of criticism there. And that's perfectly fine for them, that's not fine for me. There's other people that absolutely go nutso about Valve, even though Valve has screwed over the people with the, pay, the Skyrim paid mods fiasco. So, I want you all to understand, you can vote with your wallet, but always be aware of what that means for you as well as other people. If you're voting with your wallet in any way, shape, or form, you have to be consistent to sit here and try to punish the AAA stagnant industry as much as possible. Try to invest in smaller companies and do that by investing more time into those and seeing what type of games that you actually like. Some of the games that I like, even though it's not out yet, is um, River City Rampage. And there's going to be more of my investment there because, I mean, I love the game. I've always wanted to see other smaller creators try to do something with the property. And even though that it, there have been remakes... I don't necessarily want to remake. I want to see what smaller companies can actually do with what they have. And Steam Greenlight is still a very strong risk for people. If you're playing a game that is, you know, has like a multiplayer of some way, shape, or form, it's still a risk because they may look at it as a perpetual beta instead of actually seeing that's something I'll probably have to talk about later on in regards to games as a product and games as a service. So we'll keep that one for now. I want you all to look into this voting with your wallet whereupon you can vote with your wallet, but it has to have something else with it. So I'll leave it off there. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you all next time.